Hello and welcome to our channel Agla Sam School. Today we will discuss the solution for NCERT class 7th science chapter 18 which is wastewater story. Well, I guess you all must be well versed with the chapter by now. So, quickly proceeding towards the NCERT question and their solution. Question number 1, filling the blanks. Part A. Cleaning of water is a process of removing dash. Answer is pollutants. Next Wastewater released by houses is called dash. Answer is sewage. Next, dried dash is used as manure. Answer is sludge. Next, drain get blocked by dash and dash. Answer is oil and fats. Question number two. What is sewage? Explain why it is harmful to discharge untreated sewage into rivers and seas. So, answer for this question would be Sewage is a wastewater produced from homes, industries, hospitals, etc. Sewage water contains various contaminants, disease causing bacteria and other microbes. Discharging untreated sewage in rivers and sea will contaminate water resources. Contaminated water is dangerous for aquatic plants and animals as well as humans. It can spread many diseases like cholera, typhoid, polio, malaria, dengue, etc. Now, moving on to the next question. Why does oil and fats not be released in drain? Explain. So, answer for this question would be oils and fat can clog the drain, reducing its effectiveness in filtering water. In open drains, they block the pores in the soil and thus hamper the filtering by the soil. Hence, oil and fats should not be released in the drains. Next question, describe the steps involved in getting clarified water from the wastewater. So, treatment of wastewater involves physical, chemical, biological processes, which removes physical, chemical and biological matters that contaminates the wastewater. So, the very first step to clean the wastewater is, wastewater is passed through a bar screens which removes large objects like rags, sticks and cans, plastics etc. from the wastewater. Water then goes through grit and sand removal tanks where sand and grit settle down. Step 3. The water is then allowed large settling tanks to permit settling of solid feces slug which is removed using scrappers. Step 4. Air is pumped into the clarified water to help aerobic bacteria to grow and consume the waste. The final step, then this type of water is discharged in the river and the seas. Question number 5. What is slug? Explain how it is treated. Slug is solid human waste in wastewater left during sewage treatment. Since it is an organic waste, it is used to produce biogas and manure. Slug is stored in different tanks where it is treated with anaerobic bacteria which produce biomass which can be used in a biomanure. Next question which is sixth. Untreated human excreta is human hazard. Explain. So answer for this question would be human excreta contains millions of bacteria which also excretes out with fleas. If human excreta is discharged directly to the soil, it can cause soil pollution. Now, the next question, name two chemicals which used to disinfect water. Answer is, chemicals like chlorine and ozone are commonly used to disinfect water. Next question, question number eight, explain the functions of bar screens in wastewater treatment plants. Now, the answer for this question would be, bar screens are used to remove large objects like wrecks, sticks, can, plastic, napkins, packets, etc. Next question, question number 9. Explain the relationship between sanitation and disease. Well, sanitation and disease has a strong connection. A large number of disease are caused due to the poor sanitation and contaminated drinking water. Poor sanitation leads to growth of harmful microbes, fleas and mosquitoes, which are source of spreading many diseases. Now, the next question is question number 10. Outline your role as an active citizen in relation to sanitation. Well, as an active and aware citizen, we all have a role to play to keep our environment clean. We can start from our homes. Adopting good sanitation practice should be 
और वे ऑफ लाइफ एज एन एक्टिव सिटीजन यू कैन इंफ्लुएंस अदर्स विद योर आइडियाज एनर्जी एंड ऑप्टिमिज्म एंड एज महात्मा गांधी सेड नो वन नीड्स टू वेट फॉर एनी वन एल्स टू अडॉप्ट ह्यूमन एंड इनलाइटेड कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन सो गाइज दिस वॉज ऑल फॉर दिस चैप्टर होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो If you did then like share and subscribe to our channel for more NCRT videos thank you